integration problems can vary and sometimes you may be asked to find a relatively awkward area uh, like this problem for example. So we've got y equals x squared, the curve of y equals x squared and we need to find this shaded area okay, where from 0 to this point is a straight line. So if I go and find the integral between 0 and 3 of x squared dx let's just take a moment to think about what that's going to find me. This will find me the area between the curve and the x-axis. And so it will find me this red shaded region. Notice how it is not the black shaded area that I want. But I still need to find that area. So if I integrate, I get x cubed over 3, and I'm evaluating it between 0 and 3. So substituting it into the brackets, so we get 3 cubed is 27, divided by 3 is 9, and then I substitute in 0, I'm going to get 0. So the area, the red shaded area, is 9. Now, what I also have here is a right angled triangle. And I know that the base is 3 and the height is 9. So the area of the triangle is equal to one half the base times the height. So one half times three times nine. So we've got 27, half of 27, like that. So the total area that I want, the area of the black region, is the area of the triangle take away the area under the curve. So take away the red area. So 27 over 2 take away 9 is 27 over 2 take away 18 over 2 which is 9 over 2. Okay, so the actual error is 4.5. Problems like this uh, can come, come across quite readily. Um, you might be looking for an area of a triangle. It might be the area of a rectangle. But all are very similar. Okay, And you can use integration to find specific areas that you need and combine them okay, to find your total.